Hey guys, it's May May, and today on Product Parade, we're gonna be looking at the We Are scoreboard. Now, we already carry a scoreboard in the store, and it is slightly less expensive than this guy, but this one does something that you might really like. If you have never purchased a scoreboard, if you're in the market to upgrade your scoreboard, or if you just wanna have another tool in your stash, <laughs> and you're a fan of We Are, this might be the one for you. I'm gonna have to zoom you way in to see this, but I think you're gonna like it. So I am on super zoom here, okay? But I want you to be able to see this. What this scoreboard does is it marks every eighth of an inch for you, but like this. Let me read them for you. So it's zero, one eighth, one quarter, three eighths, one half, five eighths, three fourths, and seven eighths. So if you struggle with measuring, especially when it comes to your scoreboard, this one has it marked out for you. And what I love is it doesn't stop at one inch. It keeps going one eighth, one fourth, three eighths, one half, five eighths, three fourths, seven eighths, and so on. It even does it along the side. So you're not, they don't give up that anywhere. They don't just do it at the top and then quit here. You still have those um, eights marked for you. This is so good and I'll tell you why it is. If you struggle with getting your measurements, your five eights, your seven eights, and things like that, this is gonna help you even in your regular measuring if you start using this um, as your scoreboard and then you start doing your measuring, it's gonna help you to remember what these numbers are. We all do pretty good with one quarter, one half, and three fourths, but we struggle in the one eight, three eights, five eights, and seven eights. And this one clears that up for you. It also has another thing, I gotta come out of super zoom to show you. Now this is not ma amazingly different or unusual for a scoreboard. Most of them do come with an envelope maker on the back. This one's a little different though. I'm gonna show you just by looking at it, you'll know if you already have one of these. This one offers this little point here, which kind of does something for us to help us out with our envelope making. We're gonna make an envelope together in a second. I just wanted to point that out. It also has measurements here for you for your standard or most used card sizes. It also has box measurements. That's pretty cool. These boxes are, let's see, here's the sizes. Two and seven eighths, two and seven eighths, three and a half. Here, this one's five, up to about seven and three fourths by five and three fourths. So that's pretty handy to have. Um, it also gives you your how-to right here on the little envelope maker. So we'll come back to that in a second. You also get a scoring tool. Now, as you know, I use my double-ended embossing tool. We carry this in the store as well. This is the one I like to use. I feel like I get a better result from this. Almost palette knifey. It's very, it's very skinny on one end. I wouldn't prefer to use this one. I would leave this one here and not use it. I would use my embossing tool. But if you don't have an embossing tool, this does come with a tool for you. It has these really nice padded feet. So you'll have a nice stable um, sit on your work surface. If you have an even work surface, mine is not, so the top of it is on, but the bottom isn't. Let's look at scoring some paper. What I really, really like about it is the measurements on it. They're clearly marked, they're easy to see, and I love that. If I wanted to score at um, one and seven eighths, I could go one and seven eighths, so easy. And when you score, it works with your embossing tool just like it always does. You just use the bigger end here, or let's use the one that comes with it. Again, this is not my favorite, but we'll try it. So let's do a three and seven eight score. That's not the worst, it does pretty good, but these are just never my favorite. That's just my preference. I love that it comes with it, and I probably could find other uses for this tool, honestly, but I don't think scoring paper for me is it. All right, that's how the scoreboard works. It's pretty simple, you've seen this before. You press your tool onto the measurement you want to, and it creates a score mark for you. Let me see if I can get that where you can see. There's one side of the score mark. There's the other side of the score mark. So you have an embossed and a debossed. Is that correct? Embossed and debossed. And what that does is it breaks down the fiber of the paper and also scores for you so that you can fold super clean, easy lines without having to worry about getting wiggly or having to line up the edges of the paper, anything like that. Let's talk about the envelope tool. Now, what you typically do with these kind of envelope makers like this is you put them into the corner of the tool, pressed up against the corner, and we're gonna make an envelope. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not gonna tell you that this was easy. It took some figuring out. But once I show you how to do it, it's pretty easy. But that first part was a little rough. So I'm gonna be making an A2 size envelope. That's the standard size I usually make. That means I'm making a four and a quarter by five and a half, which is right here in the card size. 
I need an eight by eight piece of paper. That's what this is. I'm using cardstock for the demo, but I would use paper for an envelope. And my reference or my alignment number is three and a half inches, okay? So this is where it confused me, but I'm gonna show you how to make this work. All you'll do is you'll take one corner of your paper and you're gonna line it up at this first little score indention right here. So the little point of your paper is in that little score indention. Then you're gonna to come to your alignment mark, minus three and a half inches, and I'm gonna score at three and a half inches, just like this. So that's my first score mark. After that, it's super easy. All I'm gonna do then is I'm going to take this and turn it. You see I have my diagonal line, you're gonna go a 90 degree turn, and I'm gonna now line up my paper or cardstock using this little um, triangle piece. So my score mark is now laying underneath it, okay? The triangle piece is there and I'm gonna score again, but this time I'm using my little score addition at the top. So the first time you score, you have to score to the side. The rest of it, you just line your piece up with that little indention and you just score away. It, that does make it easy. I don't have to go back and measure at all after I measure that first time. And I just use this little indention and the little score hole there at the top. Now this is gonna make my envelope. All I need to do now is cut away those little triangle pieces. And interestingly, those triangle pieces are basically this piece. So it's pretty cute. So I'm gonna just cut here and then cut here. And just take away those little corners. Actually, you don't have to take them away. You could fold them and leave them in, but that's not the way it's designed. But if you did that, it wouldn't matter. No one would see them. So just cut your little points here. And this will become your envelope. Now it makes multiple sizes of envelopes. It has multiple sizes listed here for you. And the packaging, let me get the packaging out. Even the packaging has it listed here for you as well. There's envelopes, um, there's boxes, and this is gift boxes, okay? So let's keep going. So this is how the envelope would work. I would fold my sides in, both sides. I'd add adhesive along these lines and then close this one in. And then there, it's my envelope. It's pretty easy. It's not exactly like um, the punch boards and things like that, but it's not bad and you get a really nice envelope fairly quick and easy. All right, let's figure out that gift box section. So what's really cool for the gift box part is you don't use this tool at all. You just use the measurements that they give you. So I'm gonna sit this aside just where I can read the measurements and I'm gonna pick out one of these boxes. So here's how this works. Your box size is here, the paper size you're gonna need is here, and then your scoring marks are here. So I wanna use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So I think I'm gonna do this box that is a four by four by two. So that means that my scoring marks are capital A and small a. Now this might seem confusing, but I'm gonna bring this to the camera so you can see it. Say so we have capital A and then we have small a on the base. That means you're gonna start with your capital A mark. So mine is two and then my small a is four. So here's what that means. I'm gonna score it at two, and I'm also gonna score it four. Then I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Basically, we're gonna score two and four on all sides. This is pretty convenient to have. I like that they have the gift box um, option there because how many times do you have a party to go to and you're like, oh, if I could just throw a box together and then you know you have cardstock in your stash, it'd be super easy to do this. So once you have your score mark, so you can see mine there pretty good, what you do is you cut. And if you go back here, you'll see your cut marks as well on your little template. And they are here, here and here, and we're gonna cross over one score line to the other. So let me show you what that means. We're just gonna take our little scissors, we're gonna to go to this set of score lines, and we're gonna to cut to the last little crossover right there. We're gonna do that again here to where they cross, and then we're gonna turn the page, and we're gonna cut exactly the same ones on the other side. So now you have this and you have this opposite of each other and that's what the template says. Now it says 
fold and glue. So now that we have it cut and scored, it's time to fold and glue it. Now I'm gonna be honest, I had to figure this out because there's no instructions other than fold and glue. So I took a look at the picture here and I can kind of tell what they had done with all of the pieces. So here's what we're gonna do. At the top here, I'm folding that piece um, that we scored, you know, the two and the four, I'm folding that piece here. And then the side pieces, I'm folding in. Now what I'm finding is I'm getting a little off, so I'm having to be pretty careful with these folds to kind of line everything up. So I'm just folding those down. So we've basically done that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Fold that first piece in. I will tell you this, it's gonna be a sturdy little box because we're not wasting, we're not cutting anything away. We're actually using it as part of the box. All right, and from what I could tell in the picture, these pieces go in and these pieces go in. So you end up with your box like so, okay? And what closes it are these side pieces. So you put your glue on your side pieces and wrap them around. And then with these inside here, glue on the side piece and wrap that around. Again, it's a very sturdy little box, okay? And you also get the lid measurement for it. So you make your, your base and your lid. And that is what your B and B section is. So you have your um, car or your box size here, and then you do another piece of paper, 12 and 12, and you do the lid with the different measurements. And basically what they've done is they've given you, and it says it here, there will be an approximate 1 8 inch margin on all side of final products. And that just means that the lid and the box will close into each other. So it's cool, gift box here, envelope, envelope boxes, which we always need. And I'll show you some pictures from the packaging here. You can see that we have an envelope box here, and then that's how it looks folded up. And then here is the box with the lid. So the lid looks exactly the same. It's just an eighth of an inch larger, so they'll close up on each other. So there it is. I think it's pretty cool to have those extra things like the envelope and the gift box and the envelope box measurements with it. I think it works pretty easy once I figured out the envelope maker, but my favorite part about it are the measurements. And I know all of you guys struggle with measuring. Not all, a lot of you do, and that's gonna help you with that. Also, this board goes to 12 and 1 8 inches here and at the bottom, that's pretty convenient too. My other board, I'm pretty sure ends at 12. And um, it's kind of nice to have that little extra to kind of um, see the, you know, see past the paper. I don't know that we'd ever use 12 and 1 8, but if you ever need it, there it is. So the We Are scoreboard is now in store. We got one um, fairly large order. So if you're looking to pick this up, it's available in the store. I'll put a link below. And thank you so much for watching Mamma's Product Parade. I hope you enjoyed a little walkthrough of the We Are scoreboard. Have a great day. Bye-bye.